Welcome to the History AI Podcast, where the past comes alive with facts, anecdotes, and a dash of humor. Here are your hosts, Chuck and Marco. Hey there, history buffs. Welcome back to another episode of the History AI Podcast. I'm Chuck. And I'm Marco. Chuck, do you know what's bigger than my mama's lasagna recipe? Marco, you've tried to stump me with that one before. What is it? Texas history, my friend. And today we're diving deep into the heart of it with the tale of a true Texas hero, Juan Seguin. Ah, Seguin. The name might be familiar to some of our listeners because of the city named after him. But trust me, the man's story is so much richer than just a place on the map. Right you are Chuck so let's saddle up and gallop into the life of Juan Seguin. Juan Nepomuceno Seguin was born on October 27, 1806, in San Antonio de Bear, which is present-day San Antonio, Texas. Quite a mouthful of a name. You're telling me. But Juan grew up in a world where Texas was undergoing a significant change. From Spanish to Mexican rule and the looming clouds of the Texas Revolution. Which brings us to his family history. Seguin's family was deeply rooted in Texas, having been amongst the earliest settlers. His father, Erasmo, was a prominent figure and even collaborated with Stephen F. Austin to bring American settlers into Texas. But Chuck, here's a fun tidbit, did you know Juan Seguin's cousin was General Ignacio Zaragoza? You mean the guy responsible for Mexico's victory at the Battle of Puebla, now celebrated as Cinco de Mayo? That's the one. So, it's safe to say heroism ran in the family. Now, before we jump into his roles in the Texas Revolution, it's worth noting that Juan Seguin wasn't just a military figure. He had strong political beliefs that played out in his career. True that. Seguin was a staunch supporter of federalism. He believed in a decentralized government. And he put those beliefs to action, serving as San Antonio's mayor and even being a Texas senator. And let's not forget, even as a Tejano, a Texan of Mexican descent, he supported the Texan cause in the revolution. Speaking of which, Juan Seguin played a pivotal role in the Texas Revolution. He was there during the Siege of Bayar and even played a part in the famed Battle of the Alamo. Ah, yes. While he wasn't there during the fall of the Alamo, Seguin was the one who later gave Christian burials to its defenders, including legends like Davy Crockett and Jim Bowie. And then there was the Battle of San Jacinto. Seguin led a company of Tejanos proving his loyalty to the Texan cause. They shouted, Remember the Alamo? Remember Goliad? As they charged. Truly the stuff of legends. But with all these accolades, it wasn't always smooth sailing for Juan. Sadly, no. Despite his immense contributions, Juan faced suspicion and racism in Texas. By 1842, things got so bad that he had to flee to Mexico Chuck, where he was forced to fight against Texas under Santa Ana. Talk about being stuck between a rock and a hard place. But in true Seguin style, he later managed to flee Santa Ana's clutches too and returned to Texas after the Mexican-American War. Throughout these tumultuous times, there was one friendship that stood out. Sam Houston, the big man himself. Their relationship was one of mutual respect. Houston even defended Seguin when suspicions about his loyalties arose. Houston said, Juan N. Seguin is a natural-born Texan. He was with us in our troubles and served as a good and faithful soldier at San Jacinto. Pretty solid vouch, if you ask me. Before we continue, a word from our sponsors. When the world hits hard, hit back harder with Strike Force Energy. The zero sugar, zero calorie, power packed energy drink additive that fuels your adventure. Just a quick squeeze turns any drink into a relentless power source. Perfect for your workout, your hike, your life. Ready to strike? Visit StrikeForceEnergy.com, use coupon code UTSALAX24 for an explosive 20% off your order. Strike Force Energy, unleash your potential. Strike Force Energy, fuel the fight within you. Now, as all stories go, even Juan Seguin's had an end. He passed away on August 27, 1890, in Nuevo Laredo, Mexico. But his legacy? That lives on. The city of Seguin, Texas stands as a testament to his contributions. Not just a city chuck. The tale of a man who straddled two worlds, faced prejudice, yet remained loyal to his homeland. And who, against all odds, rose to become a true Texas hero. Well folks, that's our dive into the life and times of Juan Seguin. We hope you've enjoyed this journey as much as we have. 
And remember, whether it's the heart of Texas or your mama's lasagna, always dig deep to get to the rich stuff. You and that lasagna. Until next time, I'm Marco. And I'm Chuck. Keep it historical.